Hello guys, welcome back. Now come over to the data transform tab. If you don't see it here, you will see it under the more and click on the data transform tab and click on new here. Okay, so we'll start with new. Now what choose a type of data transform. Are you interested in doing batch data transform or streaming data transform? So we're going to select batch data transform. So we're going to go ahead and select this option, click next. Now create a batch data transform with data lake objects to apply the transform across all data spaces. So what type of objects you want to do the transform for? You can do a DLO to DLO transform. You can also do in some cases the DMO to DMO transform. Okay. So we will go ahead and select DLO here and click on next and uh, add input data. So we're going to go ahead and click add input data. So from where we are getting the data from. So the data is stored in the contact home, right? And not all fields we are interested in. We are only interested in contact ID and we are only interested in the phone related fields. So we're going to go ahead and select home phone, other phone, assistant phone, mobile phone, all of these hit next. So this is the input data from here. We will map it to the target DLO. Okay, so this is your contact home here. So we'll click on the plus and we'll do filter. So we're going to go ahead and do filter here. And uh, first thing we're going to do add a filter and we'll call this filter as home phone is not null. Use this filter. And uh, what does this filter do? So we're going to make sure the home phone is not null. So there is an operator called is not null. So we are filtering all the records where the home phone is present. Okay. So pretty much everywhere the home phone is present. So it's going to check for that. So we have done a filtering. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit apply. So we filtered the data. Now we will transform the data. Okay, so first from this, give me all the data where the home phone is present. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, click on plus here and we will click on transform. Okay, we will call this as home phone transform. You'll understand it in a minute. Home phone transform. Here, you're only interested in home phone. We will get rid of all the other columns except home phone and contact ID. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and select this drop columns. Now select the columns to drop. So other phone we are selecting, we are selecting business phone. We are selecting, we also want to drop assistant phone, uh, assistant phone also, and we also need to drop mobile phone. So all these columns, we will drop it. We'll only keep two columns, home phone and contact ID. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the column name from home phone to just phone. Okay. So I'll show you in a minute. Once the data is there, so we'll click on home phone and click on this edit attributes and we will call this as phone. Okay. API name is phone underscore underscore C and hit apply. So once you hit apply, you'll only see two columns. One is the phone and the other one is the contact ID. Now we only have phone and contact ID so far. We need two more columns, which is the unique key, which is the contact phone ID. And the next one we need is the phone type. So here we're going to use this FX here, the formula, and we'll create a custom formula. And what is the form transformation name? We can call it as home phone transformation. And uh, here you can use these methods or these functions and we don't want to use any function. We will just populate something called as home phone. And this value we are going to populate. So if you scroll down, output type will select text and column label will call it as phone. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the API name phone type. And this would be called as phone type. So a new column got added which has the value of home phone. You can see here all these are home phone. So the third column has also been added. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to add another formula here. And this is for what? This is that contact phone ID, the unique key. The unique key for the table would be contact phone ID. That's what we're going to call this as contact phone ID transform. 
and this is be a concat function it's a combination of what it's a combination of contact id and phone type it's a combination of contact id and phone type so this is going to give me and what we are going to call this as this is a text field and uh, we will call this as contact phone id and the api name would be contact underscore phone underscore id hit apply so the fourth column is there so we started with all that data with multiple fields populated and we converted into we filtered only the home phone so now we populated these columns so you have phone contact id phone type and contact phone id so far this is what we have done if you're not understanding don't worry about it okay so we're going to go ahead and uh, this is how it looks like now this data we need to map it so we're going to go ahead and hit save we'll call it's going to give us an error for nine but let's just go ahead and click on plus and output so this data we are going to map it to our dlo the new right to the dlo now what is the uh, dlo name contact phone target is the name phone field will go on the phone number target field we created contact id is going to go automatically it figured it out phone type will go on phone type target so on the right hand side are the fields on the target dlo and this is where your date the the transform data looks like so automatically everything is mapped we're going to hit apply and if you look at the output so we're going to go ahead and hit save here we'll call this as dlo to target dlo transform hit save and what will be the output looks like output will look like something if you click on it this is what it looks like but it only have home phone what about other phone business phone all of that so what we're going to do next is we're going to click on contact home click on this arrow that is going out from here and then we are going to do another filter same step we are going to do again but this time we are going to do a filter on other phone so we're going to go ahead and say other phone is not blank so here is not null so the filter i'm going to use is called is not null click done and we'll call this as other phone is not null hit apply so this is done now we'll transform this also so this time we will only keep other phone there and the contact id there we'll get rid of the other columns so we'll call it as transform and we'll call this as other phone transform and now we are going to get rid of home phone so we'll drop the columns we will drop business phone now we will drop assistant phone now we will also drop mobile phone okay and we will only leave contact id and other phone okay and we will change this name from other phone to just phone call this as phone underscore underscore c hit apply so you only have other phone and contact id now you need two more columns right one is the phone type and the contact phone id so we're going to go ahead and use the same function here this time we will call this as other phone formula whatever the name of the transformation here we'll call it as other phone and what is the name of the column the name of the column is phone type and we'll call this as phone type and then here option is text hit apply and then the fourth column we'll adding is contact phone id so phone type is there so phone type should be populated with other phone now okay is populated and then we'll click on another custom formula we'll create and this is for contact id phone type okay and here we're going to use contact concat function and we will plus and we'll first field is the contact id so that's there and the next field is the contact id and phone type phone type and hit apply so this is the okay so we have to phone type and then we need to scroll down we didn't actually did the right job we have to make it an opt type 
what is it called it is called contact phone id and this is contact phone id hit apply and uh, this is your column so it has other phone populated and phone number populated and we'll do this make sure you hit save and now what we're going to do is we will go ahead and append this over here and we will use append option so basically we are getting columns from here and then we are appending whatever is coming from here so now you will see if you see hit apply and now if you look at the output this is how the output will show it will have the contacts with the home phone as well as the uh, the other phone and the home phone populated so let's see the final output this is how the final output looks like let it come so you see home phone and then if you scroll down you'll also see other phone so all the contacts with their phone home phone etc is populated and this is the contact phone id okay similarly you can do the same exact step for business phone assistant phone all of that okay so what we did is we started with this type of data and then we create converted into this kind of data we'll continue working on this in the next tutorial we'll remove the assistant phone and convert it into the regular phone and similarly we'll do it for the business phone okay same exact steps i'll show you how to do it in the next tutorial Thank you very much.